This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring retired FBI special agent Jennifer Coffindaffer. Do the jurors understand the potential danger they're putting themselves, themselves into uh, if they, you know, they get called for this and then they, in fact, end up sitting on that jury? Because it's a vicious mob that you don't really see this that often where you have literally unhinged people threatening others that don't agree with their opinion other than in politics. But that's what you have here. Uh, it, it, it seems to be, you know, I, I, if I was there, I would not want to be on that jury. I mean, I obviously wouldn't be for all the things we've already said about the case. But if if you were, I mean, this is, it, it almost feels like a mob trial in a certain extent as well, where you don't want to convict this person because you're going to pay the punishment for for making that decision. Tony, it's a great point. And Judge Canoni 100% agreed with you. Um, she impounded all the information that is related to the jurors. Mm -hmm. Although I can tell you, obviously, it's already all out. Yeah. I mean, four of them, uh, you know, the defense has their name. The defense we've already seen have has turned over a lot of information. I mean, the autopsy or uh, the hospital photos of John O'Keefe and yeah. many other items that have come out in the other trial, right? Or the other, I should say, proceedings concerning the 19 harassment and, and charges against the blogger that's been involved in this case. We've seen a lot of what seems to have been, you know, splashed out into the public that shouldn't have been so... Uh, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Uh, you notice that the people coming forward are only the people that were pro Karen Reed. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't want to be raising anybody. a hand going, I was, I had a piece in uh, this and I could have done this or that, but yeah, it's uh, it's a spooky one. I, I, I wonder, you know, they obviously, she's entitled to a, a fast and, and fair trial, but I don't know. Does time calm this down? Do we wait a little while longer before we, we start Karen Reed trial part two or just try and get it out of this area and, and hope for the best. And maybe, you know, the mass population of Boston will, will ring a little bit different of a show. Well, and I think some other things have to change too. You know, there's a lot of video footage of her saying that she incapacitated him, that she thought she hit him, that she could have hit him, mm -hmm. you know, things along this line. I'm paraphrasing now for anybody who's going to hold me to the fire. I'm paraphrasing, but those are the comments that were made. Nothing like, oh, I think a dog and two people inside there killed him. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. that was not what was said early on. And I think they need to really change their strategy. I've said this from the get-go, what we call the order of proof, which is how you lay out the case. I believe wholeheartedly they must, must, must present the case early, very strong with their best witnesses, then get into, you know, the other items you know, yeah. showing that it's ridiculous for a third party culprit and then going back with their emotional witnesses, yeah. you know, with John O'Keefe's brother, Paul, with the sister-in-law, Aaron, uh, and the children to show the emotionalness of the whole show. Um, so I think that's what they need to do. I hope they change their order proof. I hope they change the venue. Uh, but back to that picture, Tony. I think the reason the picture could have far-reaching effects could be because will it affect Jackson whether he comes back or not? Yeah. Will he go through another trial? I think they'll have the funds. I mean, these people willing to give, I, you know, I told you I spoke with one of these Karen Reed supporters. He's spent $20 thousand dollars his business he said was going down because he's never there he's flying out to support you know the case i saw him on camera actually several times and even his wife is upset with him yeah because it's insane <laughs> it's insane to do that to insane. yourself <laughs> never have even met you know karen reed i guess i guess i think he actually did meet her once but didn't know doesn't know her. this isn't like it's his brother <laughs> no, I mean, it sounds more like a mental illness than it does a support system for someone you don't know. Yeah, it, it is. And back to, I wanted to bring up one other point about the mob and what these people are doing to people's lives. Take an example of uh, a Colin Albert's family's business. Mm -hmm. 
they run a little teeny pizza shop. You can't even almost call it a pizza shop. It's got a couple of tables. It's it has it's basically a true pizzeria, mm-hmm. you know, like you would see in New York, where you walk in and it's mostly to go orders. Pe- yeah. Nobody eats there, you know, to go and delivery type orders. Just family run, hard working, working all day long, and uh, people are absolutely w- worried about even being seen as patronizing that business. And their business has absolutely nose bumped. I I mean, I don't know if they'll be able to maintain it uh, from my understanding, from everything I'm reading and seeing and and listening to. They are going under strictly because of what the mob is doing to them. Um, You know, protesting outside of their business, telling people don't go in ordering pizza after pizza huge large orders and then they never pay and never pick it up um it's it's crashing bankrupting yeah. colin albert the 17 year old at the time his family the mob is a scary thing you know we used to have like organized crime and that sort of stuff now it seems that uh, society when they decide to take it upon themselves uh can be just as vicious and damaging if not more uh and it, it happens time and time again very sp- Strange, very bizarre, uh, the state that we are uh, in our society with what uh, people have decided to empower themselves as uh, as being. I have to keep watching. Sick of the ads? We opt to. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.